You know, it's pretty challenging returning back to a project of this scale, of this seriousness, I guess. I mean, it, it feels serious for me. Going into 2022, I really want this to be a focus for me. And I've been saying it for years, but it's like every time I, I take this project out and I dip my toes back in, I just fall in love with it all over again. I think deep down I know that I've always wanted to do a tarot deck of my own, but it's just, I just was concerned that it was too great, too big of an endeavor to even start, you know? And I think that's the scariest thing is that when you're looking at a huge project, the hardest place is starting. But then I think the second hardest thing is keeping that momentum up and seeing the project through. And that's where I've been struggling. I think the thing that makes this different to work on versus any other creative thing that I do is that it's this world of its own in that it is my intuitive, crazy mixed media world, but also my formal art training, illustration, I'm thinking of the final product all merged into one. And that's what makes this project such a serious one, I think is that I'm constantly thinking about every little piece, every little material, every little thing. I'm thinking about the whole thing. I feel like when I do sit down to work on it, I have to be in a very specific headspace. And I think that's what's holding me back, is that I keep thinking that I have to be in this certain place to work on it, when really I should just be sitting down and working on it. I've tried a number of different things as far as sharing this project. Uh, for a while, I just was kind of trying to do like one a month. I would share it in just random studio vlogs. I know this past year, earlier in the year, I was streaming it. I thought, oh, maybe I'll like Twitch will be the place that I work on the tarot cards. Um, and as much as I love Twitch and I love streaming, it's incredibly distracting. It's actually very hard to get things done when you're live streaming. So now it's just like I, I picked it up the other day, or actually a couple weeks ago. I dug my stuff back out, was looking through everything, and it's just like, man, I'm so close to like the first big benchmark, which is getting that major arcana done. If I can get the major arcana done, that would just be huge. That would be a huge step in this project completion. So I think I just need to figure out a new way to structure my goals for this project. I, I need the visual clarity of where everything's at, and I think the only way I can do that is by just writing it down and organizing it somehow. And I think the other thing, too, that I'm realizing, I think if I if I document this journey, and I, I'm thinking of the last big project that I just completed was, was that advent that I created, this huge sticker advent. And I just, I'm like, why aren't I doing that with the tarot project? I, I feel like creating the videos was such a big part of it and I think it helped me it helped me stay to it and get to a finish line so I think I need to do the same thing with the tarot project here I need to create a better visual of my goals of what needs to be done and what I want to get done and then I just need to I think I need to document more of it I think I need to share more of it I just feel like it's the only way it's ever going to be finished <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's my big takeaway for myself, but that I'm sharing here with you too, is that if you have a big project, a big daunting creative thing that's just been in the back of your mind and you're just itching to do it, number one, you gotta just start. I think you just have to start. And I think the second thing is create that visual list, that brainstorm, the deadlines, post-its, <laughs> whatever it is, post-its all over your door. Do what you gotta do to see it and run into it every day. See it every day and 
see if that helps you get a little farther along. We'll see.